SVB collapsed Friday morning after a stunning 48 hours. Most investors are panicking about whether it will trigger another financial crisis like Lehman Brothers did in 2008. And actually, today we're gonna talk about the history of Silicon Valley Bank, which will help everyone understand the deep operating logics of the financial system. First of all, you guys must know finance is not a free lunch. As the name suggests, Silicon Valley Bank specializes in banking for tech startups. It mainly serves some venture capital funds and some startups in Silicon Valley. First of all, I'm assuming you all know how banks make money. Normally, banks make money from the interest rate spread, which is getting cheaper money from the Fed and loaning money with a higher interest rate to individuals. They make money from the interest rate difference and fees. Generally, the cash flow of a bank comes from individuals, which is our deposit, while most of SVB's cash flows come from enterprises, which are funds raised by VCs in the capital market or the money in the amount of startups. I mean, in past two years, during the COVID pandemic, SVB generated a lot number of deposits because in the past two years, Economic confidence is not sufficient, and most of basic capitals and the startups are unwilling to invest. And the U.S. government also issued many subsidies. Therefore, many banks have collected a large amount of deposit, like SVB. But since people are unwilling to invest, therefore, the bank cannot loan out their money. But as I mentioned, if a bank cannot loan out their money, then they cannot make money as well. So instead, SVB bought a large amount of U.S. government bonds. 55% of its assets are U.S. bonds, which is very stable strategy for most banks. However, in the past two years, we all know the whole venture capital industry was bad. News like the technology first laid off employees was everywhere, which led the VC fundraising fall into you know freezing point. For a startup in this kind of extreme environment, they will not stop burning money, but will also spend more money eventually. So they have to withdraw money from the banks. Then cash flows for banks like SVB became tightened up. Troubles never come on all. Since last year, the US government has been investigating FTX, the third largest global virtual currency trading platform. SVB happens to be FTX clients, and FTX has a lot of money in Silicon Valley Bank, and Silicon Valley Bank has also bought a lot of FTX financial products. As a result, everyone knows that FTX collapsed. Therefore, as a client, Silicon Valley Bank was also involved. A lot of money was freezed. So, run on the bank happened. So more and more VCs and startups request to withdraw their money from the bank. Therefore, Silicon Valley Bank has to sell their U.S. bonds position from its portfolios. However, not all U.S. government bonds can be traded on the market. There are two concepts in accounting standards available for sale AFS and hold to maturity HTM. In terms of liquidity, AFS can be sold in the market, while HTM cannot be sold. Most of Silicon Valley Bank's U.S. bonds position are HTM, so it can only sell its AFS at a loss. It sold worth a total of $21 billion and is expected to lose over $1.8 billion. Technically, they could have hold this bands until maturity in four to five years and avoid the you know huge loss. However, they don't have enough money to you know let customer withdraw and they don't have the time you know to wait until it maturity. So they have to sell their bonds at loss. In addition, it would also sell two point twenty five billion dollars in new shares 
to shore up its balance sheet. Unfortunately, that triggered a pandemic among key VC capital firms, and who reported advice you know companies to withdraw their money from the bank. So, and the rating agency Moody's also downgraded SVB's rating, citing similar reasons I mentioned earlier, like you know such as macroeconomic pressures and liquidity risks. Therefore, in a short-term period of time, the market generated huge panic emotions, with massive depositors waiting to withdraw or transfer their money out of SVB. I mean, once a run on the bank starts, things fall apart. That's why SVB collapsed in 48 hours. The biggest danger of cash flow mismatch is the butterfly effect. So the whole financial system is like a stacking blocks, and if you if you take out a block out of the bottom, the whole thing just collapses. The essence of a financial crisis is not that money disappears, but that liquidity disappears.